it's opening cards, no coffee. And the reason I came to New York this time was for this right now. It's Rick freaking Glassman. This is Rick Glassman. Oh. Rick freaking Glassman's my father's name. I, oh, I thought that was you. Oh, and then cut to the carpet. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I could send you. I'll, I could send you the assets, but that's not why we're here. No, we're here because we have all the good stuff. Yes. Wait, these are really, really cool. Yes. Do you now when you replenish these? Do you what? Do you find them different places? Well, I've purchased. Um, like, where did you? Where and when did you get these T two cards? This is cool, man. Yeah, that specific. Where did I yes. get that one? I do not recall. I probably I bought them on eBay. How long I sell would you things say on this eBay. Has been in the binder. Oh well, this whole thing is only. Uh, well, I, the first pe people I filmed was in May, but then I went away for. A, I went on the Appalachian Trail and said, "So I've only done this for like eight, there's eight episodes, so eight weeks." I just would like to acknowledge to our to our audience that the way you said you went away and then you mumbled <laughs> Appalachian Trail, it seems like there's something you don't want to reveal, and we don't have to get into no. it. But the went away on the Appalachian. We, we don't, we don't get into it, it makes me feel like you know what maybe we'll open a different pack of cards the path leads up or the path leads down which one will you take what is well you should at least see what's available before you go right to like t2 i mean just oh, like you could just like in want. the dating world yes see all your options first before you watch yeah, Terminator yeah. two. and there's oh <laughs> now that's dallas yeah oh uh james mattern opened a pack of dallas i'll believe it when i see it well, you can watch it. It's the I'll first episode. That I can oh, okay. Up. Yeah, you can totally watch Let it. Let me check it out real quick. Yes, let's. Well, <laughs> Talk about I'm going to go with Dallas. Dallas is a good one. Because when I was uh, uh, first year of college, they played it on TNN, and I watched it, and the first two years was fucking good, and it allowed me to talk to my aunts. And look at the opening one. Look at the opening card. This is when JR gets fucking shot. That was he the who shot JR, he and that was like the biggest. Um, what was that called? Like where the cliffhanger, cliffhanger before the th before the next season? Was it? Yes, he did. Wow, I thought it was longer. No, I just I just checked where it was. Ooh, look at this. Home Alone Two, Beavis yep. and Butthead. Possible Trump card in there. Oh. Which is actually worth coin. <laughs> but I don't know. Yeah, you did have some videos of opening cards, I know. Yes. On, uh, on, on, on your, yeah. probably a couple years well, ago. Well, I was, I was opening boxes of, of magic cards that I bought. I didn't open the box of cards themselves, but I did open to reveal the box that I bought. But I keep a lot of my cards sealed. Still. Right, because you were a big Magic the Gathering. And you made money selling them and doing that stuff, I believe, I heard. I did. I did used to buy and sell magic cards. I also right. played. Right, right, right. Uh, and still do, but... The only thing out there right now is really uh, Commander, and I don't play Commander. I think I'm going to get into Commander, but as a time being, it's hard to find people to play classic Type One kind of games. Type One. Um, let's see here. You know, Saturday Night Live. That's fun. I think maybe the the Home Alone exci excited me. Yeah. yeah because yeah, yeah. because um, there are glossy cards. Now I don't oh. mind a matte card. Right. But right. But when it comes to being Home Alone, scary enough, gloss. Now do I just open it? Yeah. Do you have a theme song? I, I have a theme song that I, yeah, I got a band, uh, sample size band. They were in, uh, whatever, it's three dudes. They played, I mentioned Gillis, and they're like, oh, the drummer's like, I love Gillis. So they freaking just did Very a little cool. thing. Oh so, my God. Well, you and I have other stuff Will too. you play some of the music under it while I'm opening this? I usually have, well, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I can. Yeah. You <laughs> idiots open cards! I will. I think I'm starting to buy this Appalachian Trail story. <laughs> Yo, Rick Glassman, the uh, Appalachian Trail crosses right there. And here's just a little, little tiny waterfall, which is fun. You can swim down here, but it's a little too cold in this time of day, or this time of season, because the leaves are changing. It's October, baby. Comedians, opening cards, no coffee. The Rick Glassman episode. You do the music however you want. Now. How am, I doing? How am I doing this? All right, lost in New York. Cleanup time. Let me read this. After Harry and Marv, aka the Sticky Bandits, the Wet Bandits in Home Alone One, but this is Home Alone Two. So they're sticky. They're the wet. Sticky Bandits, yeah, and the Wet Bandits. It was because they left the water running, so uh, that was their mark. So like people's basements and things would flood. But yeah, this, that's how those guys would get into the place. Well, that was just that was just Marv's kind of like like you gotta have a calling Mars. card. Yeah, Harry and Marv. Um, oh, Marv, not Mars. Oh, yeah, yeah, Mark yeah. Daniel Stern. 
That's his name. Wow. Um, and uh, but then they were arrested as the wet bandit. So that would be like, you know, if if uh, going around saying, "Hey, we're the wet bandits," they'll know you got to change your persona. So they began the sticky bandits. They would he would put sticky stuff on his hands, and he would go around the Santa Claus. What is it called? The red buckets. That, with money? Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. They ring a bell. Yeah. It's uh, Salvation Army? Yeah, Salvation them? Army. Yeah. And he, they would, he would pretend to put money in and would come out. It was sticky and he would have coins. It was a sticky Oh, bandits. my gosh. That's... So after Harry and Marv are taken away by the police, Kevin starts the big job of cleaning up the house. What a mess, <laughs> Kevin says. His first task, sweeping up the micro machines. Uh, I don't know what the Micro machines were those little cars. That got popular, like, you know, because, yeah. yeah. Is that yeah. what they're referring to? I guess, no. yeah, that was the guy. Is that a time? Yes. Oh, so, oh, so I'm not going to read all this. because no, So this not. is the back of the cards. Interesting, right. interesting. Yeah. You're looking only at the back. No, is, there's more to these things? No, look, the other side is maybe prettier, no? You're looking at the information part. It's, it's, uh, there's probably pictures on the other side. Oh, good, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, you're, you're picking oh, yeah. the back side, you know, yeah, right, which, okay. whatever. Yeah, a oh, here's people. the bird lady. I don't remember the movie at all. So you know it's interesting. Um, so John Hughes made uh, the movie. Oh yeah, um, he made. Yeah, it was the so and I just rewatched Uncle Buck uh, two oh, days ago John, two with John Candy. Ago. Yes. Yeah. And there's a scene with Macaulay Culkin when John's when Candy's girlfriend comes over and he's looking through the 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 the, the mail the slot, mail, mail slot, slot. Yep. at her and uh, legend tells it that John Hughes got the idea from Home Alone from that scene and wrote it with Macaulay Culkin in mind just picturing him looking through that thing to get the eyes to and, know that it was him um, just to inspire him just like this kid who's home alone he's oh like, that he's, imagery he's out, yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 um wow and uh, also it, it legend tells it that uh, John Hughes wrote Home Alone over a weekend and was he by himself uh I think it was in the Appalachian Trail and uh so they made the movie and they were scoring it and they just out of nowhere it wasn't a big movie yet hell it hadn't even come out they threw it over to john williams the right the, yeah, yeah yeah indiana jones yeah, star yeah. wars yeah, 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 yeah. uh and he's a short dude uh i don't like to talk about other people but he wait you are talking about other people right now you just said he I, then his, i don't know his height but i was just making a joke about not talking no but because if he is then i did you know I was joking when I said I don't like to talk about other people? Well, obviously, because you obviously are talking about other yeah. people. Yes, but I have to refer to that because that's what I do. What do you do? Talk to other people? Talk about other people? No, I'm like... Just, my instincts are telling me that we're going to want to trim this part out. There's no trimming. Well, then let's get into it. <laughs> so, what, what's your question? Did I have one? I think so. You said... But you said something, and then I was responding, I thought. Uh, I don't know how tall he is. Yes, because if if he's the short dude, then then I don't wait. Short dude, in what in the movie? No, that guy. Like, there's a there's a there's a composer who has composed all this stuff, and he's he's a shorter dude. And if that's the case, I don't know. Because of him, I got an. Does anybody know how us. tall John Williams is? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody knows. It doesn't matter. So John Williams liked the movie though, and he scored it. Right. And a lot of people think that. This Christmas music is Christmas music that they used in Home Alone. Na, 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 na. Yeah, da, 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 da. Written just for the movie. So what, huh. what made me think about this was, here is the Bird Lady. Home Alone 1 and 2, the same exact structure. I mean, Bird Lady is the same character right, as, right, right. as the neighbor. Right. They were scared of, but ends up being, you know, this it's wise. It's easier bird. to write if you, if you repeat stuff. Like Gremlins 2. It's like a, apparently a disappointing movie compared to Gremlins 1. You know, I hear it's easier to write if you repeat stuff. I would think so. That's why music, pop music is just repeat, repeat, repeat. It's like three, you know? Yeah. I do hear if it, if it's easier to write, though, if you repeat stuff. I, I hear. I was just repeating stuff. I know, and I was just hearing. You know, I feel like you and I have good chemistry, but we're missing each other's... Like, things. I guess not. <laughs> okay, look at here we go. Escape into Central Park. <laughs> Which is what I think you and I are going to want to do after we finish this fucking video. It's closed at 11. Oh, Central Park closes? Oh, Central Park. What do you think I said? Central Park? Uh, I don't know. I always think of Washington Square Park. Fair. Did we forget something? What do you think? Put your ear. I'll hold this for you. Did we forget something? No. Put your palms on your cheeks. Look to, and look to camera. Oh, and yell, the, the, and the, yell the, Kevin. The, the Kevin Bacon. 
just yell, Kevin! <laughs> Wait, didn't you go like, ah, Oh, right, David did he Bacon. scream? Yeah. Yeah, so when he, in the first one, he screamed. Fair yeah, no, good. We're, too bad you don't have a blanket. Silent Night. <laughs> now, that is not a John Williams song. That is actually a Christmas song. Right, and most Christmas songs were written by Jews. Yeah, you know, um, my grandfather's best friend, and I'm forgetting his name, Wilde, George Wilde, and you could Google this. Right, um, that's crazy. Uh, he wrote, he wrote, um, uh, I, it's either, it's, uh, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas, or uh, I wanna look it up. Yeah, do it. Cause I got, you gotta plug out. Uh, yeah, of course, you Wilde. love plugging. Yeah, uh, uh, well, while we're plugging, wait, wait, wait I think of plugging, I think of road. Ron Hirsch, Ron Hirschberg, Ron. George Wilde Christmas Hirschberg song. Hirschberg uh, special. Ron on Hirschberg special. Yeah, right? Joke from the other Jokes, Jokes from the other My bad. My bad. Take, take the lead for a second. The lead. Um, I could take the lead out. Love it. Do it. What do you have? Back? Wool and wool and we're back. And the, the, the hat and has back. four Merch. colors. Is that from what? Uh, that's uh, my podcast. Tyso. Oh, I know the Tyso. I remember that. Yeah, because oh. so a lot of times I snap and I say, Yeah, I remember that. Well, oh, got you. Anyway, the whatever the song is, uh, it's dope on a rope. No. That's that. It's almost like soap on a rope. Come and get me. Do you remember that? Come and get me, where he's got the paint cans. I don't really remember the movie. That was, I just got, no, that was, I got Trump acting. Oh, oh, as if you got the Trump Yeah, when I watch people, un oh, yeah. I watch people open, <laughs> open, open packs all the time, and when they do, they get so <laughs> scared that they're afraid they got to put it down because their hands are shaking. They go, and they don't want to, I don't know, and they go, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My hand is shaking so much, though. Yeah. And that they have the cases pre-ready. <laughs> of course. You know? It's so absurd. I mean, it's so absurd that, 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 like, you would case, especially, like, things that are sealed. Like, to put something, like, if it was, like, for a perfect, to put something closed or a book, it's so, I know value, but it's so insane. Hello. Hello. What's going on? I don't know. Oh, we're filming something, and I thought maybe you were, you were coming over to say something, but you were just checking out the cards were opening? Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, we just got, uh, there's one for you, a cigarette, but look at here. <laughs> Macaulay Culkin. One for Kevin. Wow. Is there anything you want to plug? I do want to plug my show on PBS. What's it called? On WNET called Wild Foods. Hey, Wild guys, Foods. Check it out. I have no affiliation with Wild Foods on PBS, but I will tell you, Wintergreen, you can eat this guy, but, uh, you know, you got to know what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Fresh. Back to comedians opening cards, no coffee. Do me a favor. And I'm, I don't like cigarettes. Yeah. And uh, I love wild foods. But <laughs> yes. I, without being rude, just because we're set up here, I want to make sure if we just you don't smoke near near, near over here. Rondell. Thank you very much. It's Stalking not, the wild asparagus. It's not live. No, no. It's Memorex. So I, I don't remember that that saying. It's not live. It's Memorex. Is that for Memorex cassette tapes? Memorex was cassette tapes. Yeah, exactly. And the guy sat in like a chair, and the wind was blowing like so. And his you got to like, do graphic. me a favor, man. I'm the sorry. cigarette it's, really. You, it's because the wind is still blowing over. Would you mind stepping away? If you go bit? this way, then the smoke cigarette. If just stand diagonal, if you want to just hang around, but then the cigarette will blow that I just way. Want to be my yeah, it's you. all good. Um, world's greatest toy store, Epio Schwartz. Am I right? Not anymore. But that's what that's where this was. Right. I know. Do you not like me saying that? Like, I don't mind. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. FAO Schwartz, listen. Yeah. Get close. They used to, yeah. You don't need to pretend otherwise. And you know, um, they used to import like cool wait, things. Wait, this is not Home Alone 2, cleanup time. Look at this is Home Alone 2, cleanup time. Is but that... wh where, where is he clean? Leave some comments if you remember this from Home Alone 2. This looks like a, in Home Alone 2, he was either in a hotel or he was at the abandoned house. Was that the house. new? One was like lost in New York or something. Yeah, that's Home Alone that 2, lost yeah. in New York. Oh, that's why Trump would have been there. Yeah. Yeah. So if someone would be cleaning, is that, the, is that a hotel? I like a swanky? He, he has the, the talk boy. I'm sorry, what were you saying? No, you go. I'll take it. He had the talk boy machine, which also yep. kids owned and had, but yep. it was from Home Alone, that talk boy, where that's you could turn into it, yeah. and then you could ask for a room with a refrigerator with a key. It's insane that you had one with you. Had one what with me? One of those talk boys. I didn't have one. Oh, I no, that was just me. No. Yeah, watch back. You'll see that was just me. I thought you, and then you moved your hand like you. 
That's it. Those are the cards. Awesome. And if you would sign one for me, and then you can have the others if you so desire. And what, your pack did not come with gum. No, it did not. But um, Some, where, where, where uh, which one, which one do you like the most that I've seen? Whichever I'd be one you, you know. I well, don't, I feel like um, it's maybe, dealer's choice. Interesting. Am I the dealer? Well, you have. We the could cards. do dopes on a rope because we're a couple of dopes on a stoop. And dealer and dope. Yeah. Do those fit? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I think because you had that fun FAO Schwartz joke, <laughs> we should go with this one. I don't. It's kind of like you and me. Oh, you know what? To get it to focus, you could do what people do for a beauty store. Like beauty products, when they're selling stuff, they go like this. To get it to focus. To get the back thing. Yeah, yeah. All right. Um, would awesome. you like me to use? I'll use the blue because it's blue yeah, here. Yeah, whatever works. And oh. your, your show, what, what was it called again? What is my show? Oh, my podcast. Yes. It's called Take Your Shoes Off. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because you act, too. You've been in all kinds of that kind well, of shows, too. Well, hey, in this day and age, we're all actors. Well, no. Thank you. Nope. And now we're filming something. No, thank you guys so much, though. <laughs> Yeah, this area is roped off. See all the caution tape? Um, and I, like I was saying, I, I actually have collectible cards that I that I do, uh, I don't know. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. I, Just don't do it again. It has, um, it I would love, both ends. love to, uh, I'm curious if I have any cards in my bag that I could give you, but I don't. Yeah, well, I, how would you expect this to happen? Well, I normally keep some of these cards for me. They're really cool cards. I've I, seen I would, them. I would like to put the people could I, yeah. come in here. I've seen them on the, on the show. Well, I'll plug them then. Yeah. Tyso cards. T-Y-S-O-C-A-R-D-S dot com if you're a card collector. So, as you know, Rick Glassman has his own amazing, glossy, freaking professionally drawn cards of guests he's had on his show. They're fucking sharp. Um, but... I think anyone can do that, just maybe not as professionally made. So I've got Comic Pains, and this would be pack one. Um, you get Norman, you get Jensen, you get Garofalo, you get Bergazzi, and you get everyone's favorite, David Tell. Um, this would be pack one. Let me show you an example of a card that's not in there. Um, there's Ian Fidance, and then on the back, it's how he, how he signed it. Bacon, calm it down. Uh, another one would be Ari Shafir, and he signed it, Fuck Jesus, and everyone's favorite, The Best, The Gill, and he opened Gremlins 2, and he signed what he called the Jordan Peterson card, which was really Dr. Catheter. So, back to New York, maybe in March, lots of eps to still drop before then, but maybe in March, I can go back, I can find these comics again, and then hand them cards of themselves. Will they open them? Will they take them? We don't know. But full circle, how funny is that? Um, and hey, if you run into me on the street in New York, because that's where you should be seeing comedy, um, let's talk. And maybe you can have a pack too. But uh, I don't know. Um, some people think I'm a little crazy, but I'm not. I'm not. I'm a lot crazy. <laughs> but more important than that, if there's only one thing I could plug other than Wild Foods on PBS, just be kind to each other. You never know what someone's going through. Now, Dave, I pounded you because I didn't want to touch your palms, but either way, I'm going to wash my hands. All right? It was a pleasure. Let me get this one, too. Oh, my God. That was and so make good. sure you go and you like and subscribe and you check out all of his other, you know, things. Thank you so much. Please, not, I'm recording something. I appreciate you being a fan. It's not right now. Um, it was a pleasure to meet you. And as I always say... Be careful what you, uh, oh my gosh, you know, be careful. Um, oh. Rick Glassman, thank you so feelings. much. That was just wonderful. Thank you.